Hi everyone, welcome back to your reading. Welcome to Babaylan TV. And to have another baby which is called you versus them. That is situational based. Now the reason being why we have that situational based thing is because say for example, I am a Pisces, that's my chart. Um that is my zodiac. I born in the um, month of March okay but when my when I look at the Vedic Sardarial Sun my Sun Moon rising is Sagittarius okay my Venus sign is Capricorn and my Mars sign for yeah my Mars sign is Leo so I have those mixed characteristics um, for those zodiacs because of the planet placement okay so that's how it goes that's astrology and that's another topic though so we will be talking about that soon but every one of us has this placement on our chart um, apart from that um, how it goes the you versus them it's situational base if the title resonates with you you can view the reading check if that is your life or your current situation then you can follow the advices from the oracle decks take it as you will and i have my newest baby that was just born this week and that is called the pika card you can check that out it's very entertaining <coughs> um yep it's like flying or selling like a pancake so check that out okay um please also click like and subscribe on the button down below here um while i'm doing a free personal reading for those subscribers who will comment down below their um zodiac sign okay on their reading and put placed a hashtag babylon tv Babay, hashtag babylon tv at the bottom of i mean on the comment section below and you must also uh, be a subscriber okay thank you so much we will begin with your reading Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading for Jan for February the 2020. Why did I say January? Scorpio, do you want to go back to Fe to January? See, you're confusing me. Want to go back to January or want to fast forward? You hear that? That's a that's an omen. Are you kind of like confused with time right now? Well, let's begin your reading. Let's draw your first card here. Scorpio. Is there something or someone that you want to go back with? Like in your past here. Round and round. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seems like Scorpio, you are in a situation that there's no direction it's already 2020 i believe that this has been going on since 2018 2017 if i may say you are um getting into this kind of situation um you're but there's always just one result the duration of time may be a variable i mean different but it's always getting into the same result queen of pentacles all right yes you may have the um that's good you have the pentacles you have all the means of doing so i'm not just talking about the coins here the means that i'm saying is the means to start something you may have the last say to whatever it is 
but you are the kind of person that that's very scorpion of you it's very scorpio of you you're so mysterious but you're not i'm sorry you're trying to convey to the other person that you are mysterious and you wanted to talk come on no i'm gonna shut you up i'm not finished yet okay you're the kind of person that you wanted to show something but you're feeling a different you I mean you're feeling otherwise it's kind of like, like you're bluffing there you go it's a pentacles see this is a big offer to you however what you're showing you're cold you're cold okay you are cold Travel may be involved here, and this may be a long-distance relationship, meaning not even flight, could be some. I mean, oceans apart, could be some. It's not just within your, not within your vicinity. That's the connection that you're having right now. And Nine of Swords. Okay, you're you're not showing it you're showing it to the world that you're okay but it's stressing you out though it's stressing you out girl here okay something in your past is stressing you out and you're trying to avoid what this is see something in your past that makes you happy However, you're avoiding it and you wanted to show the other person why I'm not sure why you're doing that that you're cold see the other person is not moving anymore and you cannot make a move anymore because things has been you know things has been messed up here. I thought this is a good reading though. Scorpio, what's happening? You have a lot of options here. You have a lot of options. Saturn is working for you. We have a, let's say a transition with the planet retrograde. Saturn is working for you, giving you everything that you want and now it's kind of like a mess, if I may say. That's what I'm seeing in the card. Don't blame me. There will be some justice, justice here that will be served. Hi, 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 Scorpio. What's happening? Let's see why the King of Swords is here. Oh, my. You're too focused on yourself here. Your Saturn is working too much for you. Come on. Come back to reality, Scorpio. Nine of Swords, why is it here? You're stressing out because you know that you have a lot of love to this specific person. You wanted to move fast, but you're not doing it. That's very much of a Scorpio. Let's see why the Ten of Swords is here. Told ya, you're holding back. You're holding back and you want to blame someone for your... For wherever you are, you're blaming someone. But in fact, you're the one who's holding back. Okay, justice will be served. Okay. Okay, you can reverse the energy. Okay, if this is not you, you are the other person. Okay, do not take this against me. I'm not seeing any genitalia here. I'm seeing energy. I'm feeling energy here. Okay, 
this person whoever receiving the justice very patient here and he or she will be looked up looked up by by the person that is having connection with he or she is having connection with whoever is sad okay will have I mean justice will be served the the favor will the odds will be in his or her favor the universe is telling you to be to think okay be more of your masculine energy all right Scorpio your I think you're you're making decisions out of your emotions okay what the universe is telling you is to align your emotion to your mind so that it will be balanced okay thank you so much Scorpio and write down at a comment down below if this is your story hashtag babylon tv and i might do a personal reading with you if i picked you thank you so much for watching namaste goodbye